Greetings everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Red Flood. Now if you'd like to read about the history or the story behind Red Flood and why it is so weird, please go right ahead. We hope you enjoy, the devs do. But it's kind of cool that they have animated kind of flag, but uh, let's see, what do, we, what do we begin with? The national focus? Let's see, I guess we have to start with l'état artistique. The artistic state is unlike any other state on Earth. With the sound of artillery fire and the bonnets of cars zooming in roads and cities like Le Soel being in a constant state of dynamicism, we must introspect within our situation to ensure stability in the future with our political crossroad. Cool, so I played Red Flood once. I played as uh, the German Socialist Republic under Daddy Goebbels. Oh, precious tokens this here. But uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've actually played Red Flood, and it's looking very, very weird. New Year's Celebration. Um, to celebrate the new year of 1936, Artaud, le patron of France, has organized an immense public party in Marseille. Beautifully ornate costumes and masks were encouraged, and lots of alcohol was made available. The party lasts until January 7th, with fireworks fired from artillery cannons across the city at every hour of every night. <clears throat> Huge bonfires roared, a blaze fueled by the great stock of the primitive Renaissance art. In particular, Artaud picked up the Annunciation by Roger van der Weyden, a 1400s painting and ejaculated on it before utterly destroying the powerful rifle and incendiary rounds as crowds cheerily loud, cheered loudly. The party had minimal coverage from the outside world except for the three American journalists with, with positive views towards France. The party caused major damage to the city, but everyone had a great time. And now volunteers are cleaning up the mess, and the city continues to be as fiery and as fast as usual. Le Patron seems to have fun. Wow. Also, we are in historical. We are losing political power every single day, and we're using the sub... The mods... <clears throat> excuse me, the mods... Uh, CHS Tool Mod, Play of the Peace Conferences, as well as, of course... Red Flood, which is looking like it's going to be crazy. Like, this is definitely, the way this looks is a little bit different from the way I, or the way I remembered it when I played as uh, Papa Goebbels. So, I guess we'll see what happens. And we have the National Spirit, a divided nation. Wow, that sucks. We also have La Terre de Futur, which is not bad. I guess we're futurists, accelerationists. And abolishment of the French Army. Huh. Okay, well, I guess we got to choose the next one. And let's see, that's, this is the entire focus tree. Cool. Oh, we have this one too. Full speed of the world, less justify world goal time. Pretty nice. Now, I guess we have to make a decision whether we do oppose the Acepat. Acceleration is take Madagascar. Cool. Yet another country comes to our surreal and um, embrace. Collaborate with Escadron versus Howling with the Wolves. Now, no matter which choice I make, people are going to be upset with me, probably. And maybe I'll play France several times over. But I think I might want to go down with the collaborate one, just because it seems pretty stereotypical to go with the one that says faster, and then faster, 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 faster. So, to the disappointment of some, I'm sure. I'm, I'm going to go probably down with this route, and then maybe other times I'll play with the uh, peas as well as Howling the Wolves probably like two times. So, we'll see what happens. Collaborate with Escadron. We cannot accept the influence Bataille has on France, and so we shall purchase Secret Society and most of its members and increase the influence of Escadron de Futur, removing any artists that are sympathetic to the ACF. File. We get a uh, Eugene Schuler. Okay, cool. Let's see what happens. We have 18 political power, but that's not very much, seeing as well, we can't really do much about that. And pretty much normal technology that we're researching. I actually want carriers in this campaign. I think carriers would be a lot of fun. I like carriers a lot. But let's see, annexation events? What is this? Annexation events have been tenuously added to Red Flood. Unfortunately, due to the sheer number of countries and the related annexations, many bugs are bound to surface. As such, this feature has been disabled by default. But if you want to turn it on, be aware that it is highly experimental. Of course, we appreciate any feedback. Of course, leave them turned off. Um, that sounds fun. Let's have a, you know, an, the least buggy time we can possibly have with this. At least for now. For this first campaign. Also, like I think I said, maybe I didn't say it, maybe we did. Uh, we're on historical. But it's weird to see Germany red and Switzerland not red. Wow, that is weird. But, the next focus, shall we? Now, break the culture, or brutes with the culture. Brutes with culture. We lose stability, get more construction speed. We lose quite a bit of stability. Let's do centralized corporate structure. Unfortunately, our corporate structures are disjointed and divided. A sad reflection of a broken machine. However, we can reform and unify our industry to that of a single efficient organism. Cool. Get more political power, which would be very good. A friend of old France. Colonel Maurice de Saint-Pierre was a scarred man, be it phosphine ja gas, shrapnel, or the effects of sustained daily binge drinking, his body bore the scars of life. He wasn't even 30 gosh darn years old, and he felt like a man thrice his age. That was that was France today. Ruled by a madman, popular by the scarred and maimed and walking dead, all pride was wrung out of the country and his people. Its dignity bled out in the fields of Verdun and Champagne. It was a sorry state, and Maurice could not blame those who let it degenerate further, but he was not that kind of man. 
here in the front pour la liberation de la France du Futurisme's headquarters. Maurice sipped a bitter cocktail of cheap gin and even cheaper soda water. Couldn't even get the bad word tonic stuff. Sir, said Private Jean Paul, handing him a letter. We just received this communique from the Paracel. Apparently, it's an exceptionally urgent. Paul Jean Paul, 19 years old, completely lost. His entire life plan was set up on joining the army only for that rat face. Corpse, bad word, Artal to disband the army. Most everyone here consisted of the leftovers of that moronic move. Disbanding the army wasn't enough to stop the army, no. Leaving hundreds of thousands of young men unemployed, training combat, and bitter, that would be Artal's downfall. Maurice unfolded the letter and read it. Dear members of the front, my name is not important. All you should know of me is that I am a friend of the old friends. As it stands, you and I have much to benefit from each other. I have long known the partisan movements against wretched Artaud and I support them wholeheartedly. It is of the utmost importance to me that sanity, that order, that anything but the darn chaos that surrounds us like a suffocating gas is annihilated. I merely ask you for your aid. If you wish for me to help you in your noble goal, there is a street in Cain. Ruin Caperone. Uh, put this letter with your response on the back, yes or no, at 13 Rue Caperone. And if it is yes, I shall act. Await my next letter afterwards. Maurice now has a choice to make. Ignore the letter, write yes on the back, and have it delivered to the street. We'll ignore it. Just because I don't know if that's going to be good for us, bad for us. But we're out of fuel. Go figure. We are out of fuel. Oh, we a little bit of lag. Okay. Collaborate. We'll do that one. Oh. Did he change his face? Batayel fled to Maratania. Jujus Batayel and several Asafal loyals have fled to Maratania today and declared independent government provisionnel de la Maratania. His clique of degenerates have caused significant influence loss of the Asafal, which is a victory for us, but at the same time, Batayel can now plot freely against the government. Darn you, renegade. And I'll be honest, guys, like, I don't speak French, so as, well, obviously, as you can tell that. Wow. Um, uh, my pronunciations are pretty bad, but whatever. Hey, we have some uh, political power. So we're doing this. Escadron for all. Guerra de culture. State beyond labor or capital. Sounds like fun. Heroic capitalism. Um, United for Art. That sounds kind of nice. Research slot, cool. Get some more research speed. Mechanical computing, thank you very much. After this one, Culture of Speed. Raise Street Warriors, kind of cool. Expand our ranks, I kind of like that. And the Perverted Societies. Um, uh, what, what do we have over here? Le Legacy of Revolution. There are no gods, but speed in our tout is his prophet. Pan-Islamic Congress. The factions come to blows. Oh, look at Japan. The recent escalation of conflict between the differing personalities of Escadron movement has intensified to an unprecedented degree. The economic questions evidently lit a spark between our egos of our tendencies luminaries. What was once typical squabbles in the various Parisian clubs have turned into fistfights with some cases even involving weapons. One such incident occurred between supporters of the Pierre Clementi and adherents of Marcel Bucard's economic policy in a Parisian bar. A heated discussion between the two groups turned to an First, name calling. The Clementi faction calling Bukhar's supporters bourgeois dogs and the vestiges of the old corrupt regime who should have been burned alongside it. While others, whilst the advocates for the Bukhar name the Clementists as degenerate communists who should bad word off to Germany, which then turned into a frightful scuffle. As the fight spilled out into the streets, blood threatened to swarm the district as the combatants brandished knives, brass knuckles, and razors and clubs. As heads were beaten, eyes were slashed, and bodies mutilated, it soon became apparent to all those who had heard the news of the clash that the Escadron was not as united as it appeared. The display of ruthlessness, uh, unabashed violence by apparent members of the same organization meant this issue had to be put to bed and soon. Any prolonging threatening threatened to shatter the lines that sought to achieve a French utopia. Egos of no importance in comparison with the existence of the nation. Communes of love, invite new sex, monopoly on reality, hear the voices, all-knowing patron. Civil war breaks out in the east. Oh, cool. Um, oh, Austria is going to war with itself. Modernization without mercy. I want more political power. How do we get more pee-pee? Warrior priests, children of the patron, promote homoeroticism. Oh, boy. State vandalism. Embrace the countryside. Birth of the Gnostic faith. Dialectics of gun and boot. And feminism. Um, okay. Let's see. The fast sword of Islam. Oh, wow. Alright, what about down here? Gates of Corn Wallonie? Actually, how strong is Wallonie? Can we take him out, maybe? Wallonia? Uh, you know what? We might be able to. Full speed in the world. Our revolution has brought glory and rejuvenation to our proud people and proud nation. However, the revolution still remains largely confined within our borders. To restrict a revolution within our own borders would be selfish. We must spread that future across the earth. So we're still losing political power every single day. So corporate management kind of sucks, not going to lie. But um, how do we get rid of that? Korean People's Republic to run the Kingdom of Korea and the Korean government. Seriously, how do we get rid of this political power stuff? 
There goes the commune. Um, cool. Basic machine tools. We got the, that stuff. Let's grab the imp improved cruiser hull. And let's get some better weapons. Merciless hero capitalism. Strange new animals gather. In the countryside, a futurist faction within her movement, Clique Druidista, is demonstrating their political influence by organizing several Celtic pagan rituals in French forests. Most of their influence is, from, is in Brittany, but it's slowly spreading as the younger generations discover the sexual rituals involved. This new subculture is heavily influenced by Yugoslav Zenitism and French primitism, declaring that the Celtic tribes lived fast lives despite their technological backwardness as true speed comes from the mind up technology. Mark Algier, who is hailed as Mestier, has already organized his followers into a paramilitary group dressed in nothing but the furs of wild animals. And the night they claim that they become the true animals. Let them have the gathering. Warn them about the dangers of separatism. Um, I guess we'll do that one, I guess. I don't know. Oh, we can change this. Head of military intelligence. Uh, sword efficiency would not be bad. I don't want to lose political power. I don't mind getting more political power, actually. Point one is not really worth it right now. Oh, actually, it might be. You know what? Screw it. We'll do that one. That helps offset the cost just slightly. Just, just slightly. <clears throat> Can we actually go to war? Will Germany guarantee Valonia? Oh, they have Luxembourg, Hungary, Brazil, and Cuba. Memory of the trenches. How strong are they? Oh, way more manpower than us. Up to 37 divisions. Uh, we actually might be able to tussle with them a little bit, maybe. Probably not, but maybe. Because we have quite a few divisions ourselves. So, you know what? We'll try to go ahead. Ratishma. Ratus Kizma. At the birth of our revolution, we sought to build a great civilization upon the great land of France. However, before we can seek to bring the revolution to the world, we first need to expand the very foundations of our nation to include all proud Frenchmen. We'll see what happens, I guess. So we need to really get rid of corporate management. Now, does this one get rid of corporate management? Uh, corporate management, no. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Corporate Oh, happy 1936. June, of course. Um, what about this one? Corporate. Ah, oh, you had to go all the way down there. Wow, that sucks. That really sucks. Holy cow. I'll go this first because we can. So that means, yeah, we got to go. We got to go that way as fast as possible, which makes sense for what we're doing here. Also, we do have some planes and some ships as well. What do we have here? Destroyers. Uh, throw them on the carrier group. We definitely want to train a bunch. Holy cow. And after that, I guess we'll just focus on that area. Let's see what the, if they'll bend the knee. Adventure in, in Spain. I guess we, we gotta wait. And the Civil War, they're probably gonna pop anytime soon. So, yeah, I guess we'll go with Beyond uh, Labor or Capital. The charity of economic thought has been built on a faulty foundation. It assumes that the means of production are meant for petty human cons consumption, rather than accelerating to a better future. Obviously, we must remedy, remedy this great error. The Wallonian question. Our northern neighbor, Wall Wallonia, has a mistake. It is barely a state, real or fake. It is obsolete and artificial. It began as a feudal remnant, some place for the Habsburg to rest their wretched chains after returning from their niece's bedrooms. Next, the Huns run through it, as they are particularly and pathetically slow thinkers, flittering in between servile monarchism and servile socialism. The Germans just left the non-state to rot. They set up a military government, forgot to install a puppet uh, prince. A single worker and soldiers' council tried to invade. They gave up in a bleak Wallonian field. The German occupation government there, there let itself diminish, half running off to Prussia, half devoting themselves to a new native military government. Isn't that ridiculous? You say you, for so long in Wallonia, and you, want, you lose your purpose. You become a dinosaur, watching the economy decline, watching the world move on without you. Luckily, we can fix that. Jules Schmalzgaug as a futurist who understands how dreary the Wallonian construct is. Although he's both a native speaker of the fake Flemish, and he considers himself more inspired by the Italians, he's conjured up a la fraternité Francais futurista, a brotherhood for all Walloons who remember their Latinite heritage, and understand that France is the future of futurism. They have requested military assistance in crushing the Wallonian government. It would be foolish to deny them this, though we might gain some new amusement in watching a homegrown civil war. Give them open and full support. Give them the arms that refuse to announce support. Give them promises but deliver nothing. Sure, why not? We gotta help our PP out as much as possible. Well, bad words, it worked. The fraternity. A fraternity. Herman Bautia has been hanged from the lamppost in Namur. Graffiti inscribed. In, uh, inscribed behind him. I am a treasonous snake that sold out to the French people. The corpses of his minions and partners in crime are littered behind him. Supposedly they are planning to run out to German Congo or, to back, or go back to their old days. They were crushed too quickly. 
too quickly, though. Escadra march through the streets. They ignore the debris and the bodies of the past. Why look at that awful stuff when you can pay attention to men and women throwing themselves at your feet? Free hugs, free kisses, free food. Everyone's singing French songs in that beautifully discordant way. Synchronized singing is overrated. Wallonia's overwhelmed with passion. Valonia's reached her limit. Wallonia's drunk on violence and militancy. If her choir was nice, orderly, innocent church boys and innocent church girls. you think she didn't care. Everyone's incoherency spilling on its streets is a sign that something spectacular has occurred. The cacophony is really bliss. Jules Schmalzegau gave a speech in the Elysee. Baltia's former residence. Wallonia is now an integral part of France. It will never be separate again. Still, the work of the French is never done. Now, if Wallonia and France united, they must spread the light of futurism across Europe and then the globe. If that didn't suffice, Artaud himself appeared behind Schmalzegau. He congratulated the crowd on freeing themselves from delay, reminding them of the travail under the German occupation government and its successor state. Jules, broken into tears, threw himself into Antonin's arms. Now we are truly children of France. It never stops today. St. Albans Cathedral burns. It was made by the Pope 350 years ago. Years ago, Nobody needed that. Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow after, French art and French theater will pour into Wallonia. We will strangle them with love for the next few days. Wallonia will be the surreal frontier. Then we'll have the world. Welcome home, brothers. This is getting kind of weird. Then again, it already is kind of weird, but that's okay. Uh, go ahead and train if you need to. Which is which is the train button? Oh, right there. It's, hard, it's kind of hard to see. Uh, we only have three divisions because we don't have so much manpower, so we'll see what happens. But hey, at least we got a core, right? They're a core, and we got a few more factory slots unlocked, so that's actually pretty beneficial, I'd say. Nice, we're building up, building, 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 building. At least we got it without causing any sort of bloodshed. Oh, Charles, do you have any upgrade for us, Charles? We got a lot of motorized, though. Even though I prefer tanks over those guys, but whatever. And we still have no PP. Kind of sucks. A hero of capitalism. Ooh, I don't want to lose any more stability. But construction speed would be pretty good. Brutes with culture. For too long, we have restricted our acceleration based on the decadent whims of foolish ceremony and superstition. Therefore, we must no longer confine our superior thought from destroying all inferior foolishness. We lose 10% stability, but that kind of sucks. We get 5% more construction speed. Is that really worth it? Eh, I guess. Maybe. We'll see. Novo Russian General Government. I don't know anything. I really don't know that much about Red Flag except that uh, there's pretty colors up there. And that, you know, no one won World War One. Poland is nice and thick. Wow. Oh, they're also uh, accelerationists. Let's see. The Entomarium. The German stuff over there. The Austrian Reich. Oh, Dolphus is over there. The Russian Empire exists. Kolchak. The Radzewski. Siberian General Government. Kind of looks like Putin a little bit. Yakutia. Cool. All right, so 36. We got some better stuff. Uh, what do we want here? Uh, get that one just in case for the future. And keep working at least a little bit on naval stuff. Always keep working on na naval stuff a little bit. Just a little bit. Not too much. Not too much. 15.5. Not bad. I guess we'll read the next focus. Culture of speed. We must not be afraid to rush to the future. Rather, we must retrieve our future as quickly as possible. We lose even more stability, which kind of sucks. We only have 36% stability. Then I finished all my coffee already. Darn it. We get 5% more research speed, which is not bad. The Korean People's Republic declare war on the Korean Republic. Wow. You've gotten... Oh, God. Oh, free territory of... Zoto Russia. Who is this? Vasily. Oh, God. What is Africa like? The Ah, Red Flood is the one with the Belgian army remnants. Wait. Prussian Congo, right? Yeah, that makes sense. I remember looking at this before. Ernst Junge. Lebensborn. Oh, yeah. And they have the unique thing. Appoint Brody. Junger. Oh. <gasps> Hotag! Hotag! Spanish Civil War begins. Oh boy, this, oh, that's kind of cool. Here lies half of Spain. It died the, of the other half. Oh, that's really cool. Wait, how do you get rid of this? Oh. So, did you get the 99%? Well, it looks like I gotta play in Africa again sometime. What the heck is that? He's got his little mask on. Um. Two divisions, huh? Oh, are these... Oh, they're all different. No, they're all... They're all different. Okay. Uh, I guess we can try to send some volunteers to these guys, right? Nice. How many plans can we send? We have no fuel, but whatever. whatever. Oh, that's not bad. We do have quite a few plans to send, so let's give them a thing of fires and cast. Why not? There you go. Let's uh, buy some fuel. Okay, but uh, great Scythia, what Scythia? The only thing I know about Scythia is from its Rome total war, the Kuban. Oh, oh, it's you guys. Okay, Pavel Gorgolov. 
revolutionary anti-communism, no capitalists. They're also accelerationists. So that's kind of cool. God, this mod is weird. Of course, you probably already knew that. So, nice. I hope they can do really darn well and just eliminate a lot of enemy planes. Oh, they do have a couple planes. Hopefully, they can't make any more. We have 100 working down here, which is pretty darn nice. And then, I guess we'll do... Oh, they arrived. Nice. Raise street warriors. Oh, expand our ranks. Yeah, you can use more manpower. We, we will lose some motorized bots. Okay. As we speed through civilization, we must similarly speed through our very communities and streets. Gas, gas, gas. Race like the Deutsch are after you. Gas, gas, gas. Man, if you're German and you say that, that sounds kind of weird, but whatever. Gas, gas, gas. When you're done, you gotta gas some more? Hmm. Edgar. You must be an offensive gasser. Hmm. Well, let's see if we can do some work right here. Sevilla seems like a pretty nice place to be this time of year. Can you guys actually win there? Oh, you might be able to. You might actually be able to encircle them so we don't get re-encircled. Uh-oh. Oh, we're actually losing now. Wait, what happened? Oh, they have air superiority. Let's see if we can change that. Let's head on down anywhere else. Oh, we have too many guys here. Let's lower this by this much. There you go. And can you guys come down here, actually? That'd be better. There you go. Now you actually might be able to win. Or not. Oh. Oh. Maybe. Maybe not. The beginning of a fast life. Yeah, our tanks kind of suck, man. That really sucks. It was just before afternoon. Anthony had been in the air combat school for just over four months, and today's squadron was doing something different. Today was not a normal training flight. Instead of their usual instructor, the squadron was led by a warrior priest. He was dressed in a rough oxskin jacket, which, along with his helmet, was painted in ornate and colorful patterns. As they got their new planes and left the airfield, Anton's adrenaline was already rushing through his veins. They flew lower than normal for a good while until suddenly he could hear the warrior priest's voice throughout the radio, distorted by noise. Okay, man, after me. The priest said after as Antony could see his plane fly straight up into the sky with the rest of the squadron following suit. It was then Antony could feel it. As the G-forces was pushing on his body, he could feel his soul skipping his body. Behind him, the curtains of reality were unveiling, revealing the super world. As the soul was ascending, he could feel the marrow in his bones being pushed down towards the ground. Whilst the priest was chanting nonsensically through the radio, Antony felt his soul leaving him completely, the sensation knocking him unconscious. When he regained his senses, he was in a black tunnel. At the end of it, he could saw the ground accelerating towards him. As he traveled through the tunnel closer to his opening, he could feel himself regaining power over his body. He was shot out of the tunnel and back into reality, his plane speeding down towards the earth. Antony quickly, almost instinctively, pulled up his plane, again experiencing the orgasmic feeling of his soul leaving its mortal prison, almost losing consciousness again. It was only once Antony rejoined the formation of planes that he truly regained his senses of reality. A lone bolt rumble that had covered his ears quickly turned to a friend's voices coming from the radio. Antony? Antony, are you alright? Yes, I'm doing great. Uh, Agios o Velociatas. This is very weird. Eugene, do you have anything for us? No, that kind of sucks. Yeah, that kind of sucked that we didn't do that well there. Yeah, holy cow. Um, we didn't get that much army XP from the two either. That really sucks that we couldn't win there. Uh, if you guys helped out Sevilla, that might be better just because you can at least encircle one division here so you don't get encircled here. Oh, that's not very good. This is a very weird war. Nice. Jobless progressive party wins the American election. Wait, are they are they jobless or are they advocating for people getting more jobs? That's a big distinction there. Uh, I guess we'll do delay duct. Oh, that's that's a long time, but I guess we'll do it anyways. Why not? Hopefully you're going to... Oh, nice. Good job, guys. Good. And actually, after this battle's done, then we'll edit this template because it's actually like 24 combat. God dang it. Why did you do that? Why did you kill them off over there? Ah, oh, you dummies. Expand our ranks. A significant failure of the reviled Republic was its blatant disrespect towards its people. Instead, we shall channel all of our momentum to blast towards the future. Street warriors? That's kind of cool. Oh, three things of street warriors. There you go. Alright, so we have six army XP. Because these guys are not great. They're 24 combat with, so let's save a little bit on those guys. There you go. Technically, it weakens us, but that's... Oh, no wonder you lost. We don't have any fuel. Duh. Duh. Goodbye, we'll even more fuel for now. There you go. That should help out because we are training a lot of ships, so go ahead and go home. Don't train anymore. The subs should be okay to train, so. Ace by the promoter, if you want to read about that, please go right ahead. And we should be doing what? Navy? What's going on? Why are these taking so long? Subs do not take very much at all. Daily gain a thousand. Who's using all this stuff up? The air? 
My goodness, air power. How are you still training? My goodness, that is that is dumb dumb. That is dumb dumb. Now you guys should be able to break over here then. If you have more than enough. There you go, that's why we were losing earlier. Look at that. So I'll stop there. Attack last time. Well, you got double force attack and double uh, stance. So that's kind of different. Three divisions. Wow, that's that's pretty tough to beat. Not gonna lie. Interwar artillery would be very nice. It's almost 1937. Let's grab some of this. Oh come on, guys! That is so stupid. That is so stupid. Four divisions. Let's go over here then. And we almost have six, five army XP, which would be good. Expand ranks, good. And end the perverted societies. For too long, Agia's demented furries and Batiala's sex-crazed degenerates have disgraced the great name of France and Le Patron. Therefore, we must expel this debris from our great machine. How are we li Oh, they're doing last stand, I think. Are they doing last stand? They should be. They're literally doing last stand, so... Holy crap. They want to do that? Then we shall force the attack. If they wish to perish, then they shall. Good. Oh, man, we got encircled. Are you kidding me? That's so dumb. That is so dumb. Alright, still doing okay here. Push in, push in. Force them to die, force them to die. These four divisions will perish here. The AI does use, like using last stand sometimes, so. Obviously, they're not doing it right now, which is fine. Look at that, Eric's We're doing pretty darn well with that. Improved airplane catapults, nice. Happy 1937, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. And there we go, nice. The first couple are taken out. Actually, let's focus up here then, maybe, next. Just because uh, it's best to take out and encircle destroy as many fronts as possible while still doing it in a smart way. Or, actually, just replace it down here. There you go. Four, and we have six. That's good. And make sure you get high on that. Well, don't get high, but, you know, do well up there. And the perverted society. Thank you very much. Hero capitalism? Yes, please. Labor was previously subjugated to either petty bourgeois whims or their own foolish desires. Now labor shall be directed towards achieving the gr this great utopia. Uh, we want to. We could probably actually just go that way, probably. And if you really wanted to help them out, you can, but it doesn't really matter to me, or me too much. Uh, you actually go there, maybe? You help them out, keep them in place, and then do uh, something like that. There you go. You might be able to encircle them fully. We'll see. Come on, keep moving, 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 and grooving. Let's go. Let's go. There you go. Radio. Construction speed is. Oh, god dang it. This feels very weird seeing it like this. Good, good, good. I guess we'll get some of that too, because we can. Uh, they're not doing last stand. Nope. Nice. There you go. Uh, we could come over there. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. If we get La Corona, that'd be really good. Is it becoming a Panzer leader? Hopefully. Nice. All you gotta do is just go over here. I mean, if you want to help out, that's fine. Okay, they decided not to. Okay, then. Thank you for the victory points. Do not let them move. No sorry. Let them die. Oh, Israel. Oh, hold on, hold on. I've always wanted to play a campaign as a Jewish state. Oh, they don't have any new focus tree, though. Oh, man. Why is Syria so big? Huh. Saudi Arabia. Now, I did leave La Coruña open, which is not good, but... Well, as long as we kill off the divisions, that's the most important thing. Good. Nice. Cut him off. There you go. Hero capitalism. And actually, I do want to do the focus that talks about uh, Spanish War, Adventure in Spain. As we accelerate our ideology beyond borders, we must fern towards our neighbors. Spain presents an easy opportunity for a foothold in the Atlantic. Oh, okay, that's good. Oh, we get more army speed gain. Well, that, that would actually be kind of beneficial. Huh. Who would have thunk it? Nice. Head on down, guys. You're doing a good job so far. Even though we're going to need way more tanks. We have 
85 air XP. This is nuts. I'm loving it. All right, you did a good job there, guys. Um, up next. Ooh, yeah, actually, we might be able to break down here, perhaps. That'd be kind of nice, right? We still have no PP, which kind of really sucks, but... That's okay. And we need more guns. We're looking actually pretty good on everything, except tanks, guns, and planes. Pretty normal, though. Pretty darn normal. Oh, yeah, we have a lot of repairs to do. That's fine. Uh, keep it on, too. I want to make all those ships first, so... Give it, guys some time to get some more organization. We'll go to Lende... There you go. I wonder if you guys could actually win there. Ah, you might be able to. As long as they got fuel, you can win. Maybe. Sometime. No promises. Nice. I want to throw some other support companies on our tanks. Because the tanks, we're, we, as you saw, we're going down mobile warfare. I want to make sure the tanks are as best and as good as possible. Goodbye. Opportunity in Spain. An exciting and promising has a r opportunity has arisen in Spain. With the breakout of the Civil War and the descent of anarchy, some of our, our government have floated the idea of seizing Catalonia from the Spanish. The idea is not traditionally French, but it was taken by Napoleon during his conquest across Europe, and would provide us both legitimacy and industry. Some are concerned about the pro-anarchist tendencies within Catalonia, but our pol police have done wonders with terrorists and opposition all kinds before. Marching to Catalonia, who will stop the Spanish? The international situation is too fragile. Ah, I want more territory. Schnikes. Crikey. Wow. We just took it. I love it. Uh, let's see. Actually, if we're going to do that, then we don't have any mo uh, cavalry, which sucks. Because uh, I don't want to spend anti-tank and uh, artillery for suppression. So, no military police. Uh, at least for now, which one do we have more of? Or less of, really? We have less anti-tanks, so take that one off first. There you go. I don't want to use artillery for this either, but whatever. Garrisons. You know, motorized might not be too bad for it as well. Street warriors? Eh, I don't use motorized for this as well. Just gun guys and guns. They, they probably didn't like it that we took it over. Yeah, they didn't like that. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. They'll deal with it because we are the ones who are helping them out, so. I eh, keep one guy here just in case. I'll keep one guy here. Oh, they found us. You know, you hold on. Can you move up there fast enough? Probably not. Nope, probably not. Alright, how about right here? Oh, you're getting attacked first. Hold on. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, and it's looking nice. You know, you, you hold. You hold. Why not? Go straight up north. Actually, you guys go right there. Goodbye, three more divisions. Oh. Alright, they said focus. Question status quo. Austrian comrades. Slavic barbarians. Latin brothers. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go ahead and keep doing this. All national labor front. A front of labor. Before, labor was forced to face the horrible conditions of autonomy and keeping their output. Now let's know the true prosperity of efficiency. Good. We have more output. Good, 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 good. We love output. And I love having over 100 air XP already. Man, we're really hurting ourselves here. Oh, the Czechoslovak. Oh, wow. That is weird. Good. Don't think the Spanish can really do too much against us anymore, so it's good. Disperse industry is very nice. Let's grab some uh, resource efficiency gain. Radio. Welcome to Valencia. We have enough fuel. Oh, they're doing last stand. Look at that. Oh, they were at least for a while. Oh, they're still doing it. Look at that. They're still doing it. But as soon as their organization stops dropping, starts dropping. Hey, they're they got they're done. Good job, guys. Good job. United for the art. We may be rapidly surging towards better tomorrow, but that doesn't mean we don't have refined taste. Futurism was conceived in the finest aesthetics. We must not abandon our style in the frenzy. Is there anyone else I can help out? What, what, I want to send more tanks elsewhere. Japanese Japanese war. Despotic. We don't really care for them though. Hmm. And Vanguard Socialists, huh? Uh, Patagonian, I don't want to get involved down there. Czechoslovak Kingdom versus Austrian Reich. Do we want to help out the Kingdom? Versus Le Reich. No, we don't like either one. Dolphus. Or generous victory in the Spanish Civil War, alright. Improved machine tools are very nice. What if we were grabbing uh, more fuel? I like more fuel. Get more ex excavation, though. 
And though we need to do more naval stuff. At this point, we're looking pretty good. You guys go ahead and try to finish training, which is not going to happen, but whatever. We need more rubber. We really could use a spot of rubber. Let's grab one thing of rubber. Why not? Dutchies Indies. Thank you. And Chromium. I'll grab one of those two because we have enough uh, factories for now. Look at our manpower. Look at that. That's pretty nice. 16.5 is still ain't too bad. We're still losing 0.3 political power every day, which kind of sucks, but construction, too, is very nice. It is 37, so we got to keep an eye on that. But what else can we do here? Anything else? How about planes? We got that, we got that, which is awesome. We got that and that. Nice. I guess we do one of these. Yeah, we want to use cast. Dive bombing? Yes, please. Um, nearly not bad. That was pretty good. I thought that was pretty good. Uh, and, of course, as we all know, you have to have fuel for your tanks. Moderation without mercy, though. We have given plenty of chances to join the revolution. We can no longer await as a decadent fools holds our acceleration back. Join or die. More population, less manpower, more stability. Nice. Altea is gone. But seriously, I, I do want to help out some other people. Um, we don't like the communists, though. You know what? I might just send guys over if we can. Nope. Okay, never mind. I don't want to get involved in... Oh, I almost said Africa. South America, because we do need some army XP, so... You guys... No, we don't like either one of them. God dang it. The Reich is just popping off right now. Pimp my Reich. Oh, Baron? What type of tree do they have? Oh, look at that. Parliamentary conflict. They want to strengthen ultra nationalists. Unite the people. National su supremacy. Do we like supremacy? Probably. Ramos fortifications. Weaken the government. Join our brothers. I can't agree with habilitation. Rousing speeches. Oh, look at this guy. Whatever the cost may be. Defense of Austria. Oh, I wonder what that guy does. Alright, so we got something over here too. The Baltics SFSR. Um, who are you? Georgi L. Brotherhood coup. Alright, well, whatever. Georges Valoy, however you pronounce his name. Valois, Valais, Wawa. On ruins of old. We must not let the republics discussing mo monuments to the decadence remain to poison future generations. Therefore, we shall obliterate these decadent fossils before they can corrupt anyone else. One level of infrastructure and civilian factories will be destroyed in every state. Holy crap, what the heck? Wow, that is something I was not expecting. Status quo against the Anglo menace. Race against. Councilism. Anti German pacts. Side with the true Germany. Top of Bulgaria. Arms to Mayakovsky. Opportunities in India. Deal with the Anglo devil. Um, communi communism bites of dust. Anglo menace. Aid revolutions and British colonies. Wow. Oh, friendship with Scotland. Deal with the Red Devil. Offers a pact. Aid the Semites. Leahy. Well, cuck them for eternity. <laughs> Uh, let me know in the comments below. Which one should we do? Against the Anglo Menace versus the race against Councilism. Please let me know. As well as these ones. Slavic Barbarians versus Latin Brothers. Aid Yugoslavia versus Hooray for Fiume. Allies and Russia. Riders of Tehran. Eternal Friendship with Poland versus Friendship in the West. Let me know about these two. Which, Slavic Bar Barbarians versus Latin Brothers as well as Britain. Fighting Britain or fighting the Germans. But we'll go next with Children of the Patron. Child rearing had previously been for super bourgeois foolishness and vain attempts of purity instead. Procreation must now be devoted to the great French machine driven by Patron himself. Okay, why not? Reckless progress. Well, I guess we like that, I guess. Oh my gosh, we de devastated. Oh, oh my goodness, the civilian industry is looking so bad right now. Oh, that's not bueno, I would say. Not quite bueno. Let's grab some of these heavy batteries. We can use them on our uh, ships. Switzerland is... God, that is a very long boy. And Fiume is looking better than Fiume itself. Guido. Huh. Italo Balbo. Religious trade unions. Montenegro is a thingamabob. Wait, who owns this? The Straits Commission. Maximus? The Hobbit is published. I want a copy of it now. Alright, I guess we'll go with this one. Elastic Defense. Pretty darn nice. Well, I feel like we've just been set back to the, basically the beginning of the game with this, so. Oh, there goes a Congo. And who is leading here? Is it a general or is it von Schleicher? Okay, Children of the Patron. 
dive bombing warrior priests. For too long, the priesthood has remained a lethargic and degenerate class that spews conservative nonsense to the vulnerable populace. Therefore, our clergy must embrace the revolutionary spirit or fail or fall trying. Cool. I guess we keep going for air doctrine to make sure our planes are the best and the best of the best. Even though our navy is not looking very good right now. Go stop training them for now. You guys. Oh, you're almost done anyways. Look at that. You're almost done. So which means you guys should be almost done too, right? Yeah, they're almost done. That's good. Oh, we're actually getting some more fuel. Look at that. Excavation is very good. Grab some more fuel. Oh, actually grab this one first. Research efficiency gain just because we're out of rubber as well. We might build some rubber refineries eventually. It sucks not having PP, man. It really sucks. After that, um, I'm not really sure what we should do for these. State vandalism? I'll promote homoeroticism? Homoeroticism. I guess, you know what? Let me know in the comments below. Which one should we do for all these? Because there's so much here. We replace homoeroticism with new modern man. Wow. This is just nuts. I kind of like this one. Fast Messiah. So I can just go faster as fast as possible. So let me know in the comments below which one we should do for these ones. But I guess after this focus, I guess we'll do maybe one more. Maybe we'll do the status questions. Question status quo. For too long, Britain and Germany have been have centuries upon the entire earth, manipulating, corrupting the entirety of the continent with their ridiculousness. Therefore, we shall wipe their stains off the map. I'll do one more focus before we end it. One more focus. En France du Patron. We got enough manpower for now. It's kind of nice. Basic heavy batteries. It is still 37. Land doctrine is coming along nicely. Um, 50. It's not bad. Improved cruiser holes. Depth charges. I guess we'll go with depth charges. Why not? We can always use those. Oh, I can always use them. Are there any more wars? I want to get involved in conflicts. I don't want to go down to Africa, though. That sounds kind of like a bad time. Because we don't like Junger or Bola Congo. Congo. Yeah, there's a lot of dead people in the Baltics. Wow. Baltic general government. Can we send you volunteers, maybe? No, no one wants to send the volunteers. Why? This is so sad. So sad. Oh, India? How about India now? Oh, what happened to India? No, I don't think they'll let us... Oh, that's Churchill. What the heck? Oh, just one division? Eh, whatever. Cool. And I guess we'll finish off with Austrian comrades. Next, Austria with a uniquely uniquely unitary and revolutionary spirit would make a model of future society. We shall approach our brothers in faith. But if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow as we will struggle trying to build up a bigger industry and maybe fight the Germans. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.